In the past couple of years, the non-fungible token, or NFT for short, marketplace has been growing in popularity much like the cryptocurrency market. An NFT is a unique unit of data employing technology that allows digital content from videos to songs to images to be logged and authenticated on cryptocurrency blockchains. So stay tuned and don't go away because we're looking at a recent deal struck between MasterCard and Coinbase for purchasing NFTs amid a wave of recent crypto partnerships. First up, what is Coinbase? Let's take a look. Essentially, Coinbase is an online marketplace where customers buy, sell, or HODL, meaning simply to hold on to the assets indefinitely. Those who HODL are often referred to as HODLers. Now, Coinbase customers will be able to use MasterCard credit and debit cards to partake in Coinbase's upcoming NFT marketplace. The new deal is the latest in a slew of crypto partnerships for MasterCard and Visa. Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies were primarily created as a means to get around banks and intermediaries. However, as the new asset class becomes mainstream, larger financial institutions are embracing it. MasterCard recently announced that it signed a deal with Coinbase, and as part of the agreement, Coinbase customers are now able to use MasterCard credit and debit cards to buy NFTs on their site. Last year, Coinbase revealed plans to launch a new platform for minting and buying NFTs, which, as some of you probably know, have exploded in popularity over the past year. Coinbase executives said the idea of teaming up with MasterCard was to reduce barriers in the NFT buying process, which often requires customers opening up a crypto wallet, buying digital currencies, then spending those on NFTs in an online marketplace. MasterCard executive Raj Damodaran said, getting more people involved safely and securely is perhaps the best way to help the NFT market thrive. As it does, MasterCard sees even greater potential for NFTs underlying tech to go beyond art and collectibles into many more areas. Next up is MasterCard partnered up with any other crypto-related services? You bet! As a matter of fact, MasterCard has been on a crypto partnership spree recently. Back in October, the credit card giant announced it was teaming up with Bact to allow banks and merchants in its network to offer crypto-related services. MasterCard's also partnering up with Gemini, BitPay, Mintable, and is setting its sight on other crypto-based companies too. Visa too has been active in securing crypto partnerships and has more than 60 partnerships with various companies, including its own deal with Coinbase. And the popular credit card company American Express is currently toying with the idea of using its cards and network with crypto-based companies. However, American Express CEO Stephen Squarey recently said that consumers should not expect to see an American Express crypto-linked card anytime soon. Mizuho securities analyst Dan Dolev said, MasterCard's announcement of a partnership with Coinbase is yet another example of MasterCard's out-of-the-box thinking and its approach to crypto. Over the long term, though, blockchain technologies and decentralized finance can be a threat to the overall network ecosystem as they are challenging the trusted third-party concept. It'll be interesting to see how these partnerships play out in the years to come, but it's clear that credit card companies are paying attention to the crypto market and NFT industries and the demands of consumers who wish to invest in them. Up next, what are some of the latest NFT projects set to launch? You're about to find out. The NFT project known as Great Apes NFT announced the launch date for its DeFi and Utility NFT, and you can expect the pre-sale of the Great Great Apes NFT to go live this month. The Great Apes NFT community will have the first highest utility ape NFT in the Solana ecosystem. Prior to the launch of 10,000 collectibles with over 200 different original traits by Great Apes NFT, there is an ongoing whitelist spot for those who wish to participate early. The whitelist spot is divided into two halves. The first spot is the Great Apes whitelist slash airdrop spot, where the community fulfills an easy task and stands a chance of getting randomly selected. The second category is more engaging and easy tasking will feature a refer a friend to get a spot criterion. Whitelist entries ended on the 17th of January 2022 and winners will be announced after the launch. Great Apes NFT will feature other beneficial events to reward its community, which includes those really cool meme and art contests and all of its social media channels, as well as community giveaway and holders reward, writers and cartoon animator development series rewards. As you can see, there's a lot of NFT action that you can get in on with the Great Apes NFT. Stay tuned and don't go away because we're bringing you the latest news on the Great Apes NFT project. Be sure to watch until the end because we're going to talk about how Meta, aka Facebook, is trying to jump on the NFT and crypto train as well. Next up, is it true that the Great Apes NFT plans to launch a play-to-earn game? Let's find out. The rumors are indeed true that the Great Apes NFT play-to-earn game will be developed and launched later this year. The reward for playing the game is valued by the accounting unit at over 5,000 soul if you're not defeated through the gaming stage. 
coaches. The game has both numerical and professional team strength, with seven team members and other professional expertise. The game promotes team growth and will reward its teams with 15% from Mint as the project grows. All of the Great Apes NFT collections are unique and represent distinctive traits. With the launch of the Great Apes NFT P2E game right around the corner, users will be able to participate in the gaming metaverse and will be represented by their NFT collection or avatar free of charge. Other benefits will include staking, borrowing, and lending, which will be introduced before the launch of the Great Apes NFT token or GAN token for short. The Great Apes NFT will focus heavily on its community and it's also the only NFT collection in the Solana ecosystem that is keen to reward wildlife conservation around the world on an annual basis. We've all heard about the negative impact that crypto mining has had on the environment, so it's nice to see a company like this try to make a difference and have a positive environmental impact. Up next, how does Meta plan to break into the NFT market? Let's have a look. Facebook owner Meta is hoping to cash in on the NFT digital collectibles craze, and the social media group is planning to enter the $40 billion NFT market in a big way by creating and selling its own NFTs. Meta wants its users to display tokens on Facebook and Instagram and seeks to join the rush of companies trying to capitalize on the digital collectible craze. It's clear that Facebook and Instagram are preparing to allow users to display their NFTs on their social media platforms and working on a prototype to help users create and mint their collectible tokens, according to several company insiders. Meta is also preparing to launch a marketplace for users to buy and sell NFTs. To be clear, though, all of these efforts are at an early stage, but the discussions indicate Meta's intentions to cash in on the market. But critics of NFTs feel that burgeoning sector is essentially nothing more than a speculative bubble rife with scams, market manipulation, and corruption. At the time of this recording, the dominant NFT marketplace is called OpenSea, which takes a 2.5% cut from each sale, and this month alone raised $300 million. Facebook and Meta's rival Twitter is planning on getting into the NFT market too, and Reddit's already launched its own collection of NFT avatars. Finally, what is Mark Zuckerberg up to? Let's find out. CEO Mark Zuckerberg said that the NFTs could one day be wielded to support a market for digital goods in its planned metaverse, a virtual world where everyone is an avatar and is planning to invest $10 billion per year over the next 10 years. Facebook and Instagram have recently endured scandal after scandal over its moderation and privacy policies and its perceived support of right-wing groups. With its popularity falling, Zuckerberg has been forced to reinvent his brand, essentially, and now plans to help artists make money from their digital art. Not everyone sees NFTs as a legitimate marketplace, though. There are several outspoken critics who think the entire market is this lucrative, shady scam, as we mentioned previously, and well, quite frankly, a joke. Matrix star Keanu Reeves is one such person. In a recent interview, Keanu spoke about how he thought NFTs were easily reproducible and seemed to find the entire concept of their existence to be silly. Many people on social media, Twitter in particular, appeared to concur with Reeves and felt he had a point. One Twitter user tweeted, Keanu Reeves' hyena laugh mocking NFTs is the best on-screen moment since Neo kicked Agent Smith's butt in the subway. Another user tweeted, Keanu's laugh in response to NFTs in this interview is everything I wanted for Christmas. And a recent tweet from January 11th said, all these celebrities becoming NFT fanatics, I'm just going to bring back Keanu laughing at them again. Attached to the tweets, a video of Reeves laughing at NFTs with Carrie Ann Moss. And that's a wrap for today's video. Thank you for watching. Show some love by clicking like and subscribe.